The last thing that we have to do to the tool holder is put in our hidden lines. So I'm going to set my hidden layer active. And I'm going to go to my annotate tab. I like to start with my center lines. So I have three things that are concentric. One, two, three. I'm going to select the largest of all three. That may make these center lines out here really large. So some people like to stretch two lines, but if you just wanted to select on that, that's absolutely okay. You can select on the largest of the three and it will extend the lines maybe a little bit longer in this area, but that's okay because it extends beyond this and beyond the left-hand side. I'm going to now use my axial center line or my center line bisector and select the two sides of the hole because that I need that line to go all the way through the part and the hole lines go all the way through the part. Now I could have done this and copied again, but I can uh, go ahead and hit enter to repeat the last command and I select these two lines and I don't have any line type scale situation in this. I'm now finished with the tool holder. I'm going to save this, but now I'm going to go over to the layout tab and take a look at it. Everything looks good. Save again, and we're finished with the tool holder.